This time we're looking at BENE. So once again, BENE today is dropping by 3.57% so far. Now coming down to 3.84. The question is, why is this happening and what comes next for BENE? And of course, guys, I am not going to be a financial advisor. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just somebody with an opinion sat at home. So do remember that if you're looking for financial advice, this is not the place to find it. And of course, one thing that I do know is that BENE -E is an extremely risky stock, so be completely aware of the risk before making any investments. I think it is completely important to inform you guys of that, but now I've said that, let's jump in. But just before I do that, I'm going to remind you guys that we are doing a fundraiser right now for Save the Children, and on top of that, I would massively appreciate it if you could subscribe. It's completely free to do so, and you will be helping out this channel. But now I've said that, let's jump in and look at BENE, -E, and we're going to do this on the very, very simple and easy to understand charts first. So, on the one day for this time period, you will see we're moving down, but it's really not as bad as it may seem. We're dropping by 43 cent, which is about 3.83% so far. Now, when you look at the pattern, it really hasn't been too much to see. We've seen highs of the day up here, which were at a price just over $11. We've seen lows of the day coming in now at a price of $10.70. So you'll see that from the lows to where we are right now, we've seen a bit of recovery, but not really too much at all. And again, that is what's keeping us down. Now, the five-day chart will show you how we have been moving in the past week. We are still uh, up a little bit from where we were on the initial starting on Friday. So on Friday, we were sat at a price of $10.19 roughly, and you will see that right now we're sat on $10.76. Now, yesterday we had a bit of a second rise for BENE from this initial rise, which took us up to the $15 or $16 mark. Uh, so yeah, we came back a little bit, but right now the question is, are we going to see another run for BENE? And of course, it is going to be hard to predict with this stock. I think with this one, as I have said yesterday, Whilst it is hard to predict, I do feel a little bit more confident with this one than I do for some of the others. Of course, there is one simple reason for that. With this being a special acquisition company, oftentimes these stocks don't really drop below the $10 mark. Now, now I did say oftentimes, some people believe that, that this stock does not drop below a price of $10, and that is not certainly true. It's not something that we can take for granted, but, you know, sometimes SPAC stocks do remain comfortable at the $10 mark. And for that reason, I think the risk with this stock is a little bit lower than where we were with some of the others. Now, that's the risk spoken about. Of course, be aware of the risk. And with this one, do not invest more than you are willing to lose. I think it's important to stress that as well, because it is still a relatively risky stock, even though the risk is somewhat smaller in my eyes than a few of the others it is still quite risky but yeah when it comes to the reward potential that is what we should be focusing on because right now i'm just unsure how high the reward potential with this stock is again my real question for this one is are we going to see a second run and if we do are we going to see a second run which makes it worth it in my personal opinion at least because yeah we had a bit of a run yesterday uh, you will know that if you were watching our videos we went a little bit higher than where we are right now touching above the $11 mark well clearly today we're coming down from that and again my question is where do we move now well I want to provide a few of my opinions on that at the end but first of course I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown of the technical indicators on the one day five day and one month on the one day we're seeing a moving average figure of $10.76 it's a little bit below where we are right now but of course it's a lagging indicator and it always was going to be now the rsi for this time is on seven uh, is on 54 now 54 isn't really too bad at all it's a little bit high because of course we have had that run up and now that we've just dropped a little bit it's come back down to 49 and that is also fine as well you know it's definitely in a more normal level and it is what i want to see now coming down to the macd it is becoming bearish after this run up but this is only the one day data not the most inclusive and in my eyes not the most important the five day and one month data tells us a lot more that we need to know it shows that we are sat on a moving average and again the reason why we are sat on the moving average is because when we look at the stock yes we've had this big run up but really from this point here which was about two or three days ago now we've had just flat action it's moved up a little bit moved down a little bit but ultimately we've been flat and it's given the moving average a lot of time to catch up and another thing that it has done is given the trend on the rsi a lot of time to catch up you'll see it is coming up from being quite close to oversold and now it's coming back to a more reasonable level at 46 which is good and the trend of the macd is quite flat but looking a tiny tiny bit bullish in my opinion when we look very closely but yeah ultimately for the most part flat 
Now, the one-month data for this time is showing us that we're seeing volume today of 3.4 million, 3.04 million. Now, come out here and you will see that yesterday's volume was 6 million. Come out here, you'll see that the prior day, 7 million, and this high day up here was 48 million. And the fact that the volume for the stock is insanely low today, it does make me question what comes next. It shows that not as many people are trading this stock as they were previously, especially when we look at today's like this and this, and especially this day here where we saw our initial spike, we had volume figures of 61 million so you can see we have had very very high volume in the past and now it's coming down to a very small fraction of that at only 3 million so yeah my question is is this significant and will it play a part going forwards but other than that we can see that we are uh, actually looking okay on the RSI sat on 55 this is coming down from 100 so it couldn't have been much worse and now it's coming down to a more reasonable level which is nice to see now bearish things are happening on the MACD that is clear as well you'll see that on the MACD we were bullish for a couple of days but right now we're seeing three bearish candles they're becoming more intense as time goes on dropping lower and lower and lower and we're seeing the, the lines on the uh, MACD also cross over almost so they're coming very very close to crossing over and again that would be another sign of a bearish trend forming with this stock so would I buy BENE for me for me personally BENE is not going to be a buy of course, like I said, I am not a financial advisor and I do not want to influence your choices at all. If you think it's a good buy, feel free to buy it. If you think it's a bad buy, feel free to avoid it. But for me, I would not buy it. And there is a simple reason for that. Looking at all of the stocks, PHUN, DWAC and a few of the others, I have said today... I feel a bit more confident about a few of these. Of course, they do carry insane amount of risk anyway, more risky than any stocks that we've really looked at on the channel before. However, I do feel like they are becoming a bit more stable. I think that is a good sign. With this stock, I also do feel like it is becoming a bit more stable, but for me, the risk to reward is just not there. Like I said, $10 is oftentimes a point to sit comfortable on a SPAC. However, the question then becomes the reward. If we can pop up to $20 again or $17 again, terrific, we're gonna be seeing really Really high profit and really good reward margins but of course if we do not see that then we don't really have too much to look forward to and my question is with volume being so low today are we just going to see PHUN stagnate and lose interest so volume figures are dropping significantly more than they are on a few of these other related stocks or at least related in interest so my question is what does this mean going forwards and for that reason for me today PHUN sorry BENE is not going to be a buy just because of where we are sat and the figures that we are seeing. If this does change, if we start to see a bit more uptrend, if we start to see volume come back into the stock, my opinions of course can change as well, but this is just what I personally believe based on what we are seeing today. I hope you guys do understand that. Of course, if you do, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. As always, I'll be back tomorrow for another update and I'll see you all again then. So thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord, obviously it is split into multiple sections, basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff, if you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community, we also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon